DARPA is a privatized organization who's in charge of the U.S. Department of Defense's development for the mysterious technologies that the government would like to get their hands on. You can think of this as a startup company funded by the CIA, all branches of the military, the FBI, NSA, ICE, and many three-letter organizations. So whatever they're researching, you may want to know about. From synthetic blood to stealth drones that are perfect for spying on people, here are 13 strangest DARPA projects. Number 13. Synthetic Blood In case you didn't think that one day artificial creatures would take over the world, let us introduce you to DARPA's Synthetic Blood program. Imagine that someday people will no longer need blood from donors anymore and we can simply make it in a laboratory or a factory. Battlefield medicine is certainly advancing and with research from DARPA, we could be living in a world where people are made up of synthetic blood. Nanotechnology is becoming a big thing right now and there seems to be a way to cultivate red blood cells. Many details about this operation are being kept secret, but we know they're looking into it. Number 12. Nuclear Power GPS Trackers You might be able to run, but you certainly can't hide from GPS trackers that run on nuclear power. It's not designed to explode, thankfully, but the nuclear power will help determine velocity of foreign objects, especially missiles across the globe. This is more commonly known as a sea scan or a chip-scale atomic navigator. Atomic sensors appear to be the way in the future to keep track of things' movements and can even be used to help things such as submarines track exactly where they're going on the map. This results in long-term and precise accuracy beyond belief. This still requires a wall plug-in and is still quite a complicated project. Just think of it as nuclear power GPS that doesn't lose reception and is extremely accurate with a battery that never dies. Number 11. PTSD Brain Chips The only problem with going to war is that all those dang soldiers come back all traumatized and get scared at night worried about terrorists. PTSD is also known as post-traumatic stress syndrome, and normally, if the enemy doesn't get the Marines, this psychological disorder usually does. It tends to cause people to develop bad memories, and if only there was a way to rewire their brain, maybe we could put them back to war and help us get more oil. Yes, great idea. DARPA claims that a brain chip could alter the way a person's brain works and rewire the electrical routing to the brain. What could possibly go wrong with this? Number 10. Cars for Blind People Is this for reals? Are you just messing around with us again, Merrick and I? No, seriously. DARPA is looking into a way to possibly create technology that would allow for blind people to seriously drive a car. Well, the car wouldn't really need a driver in the first place, and it would go off of lasers and vibration detectors that could sense movement in various directions. It's kind of like Google's driverless car, only a little bit more advanced. In 2005, a car called Waymo won the DARPA challenge, where the winner took home more than $2 million. DARPA has now taken over the project, and it could be very soon when you start to see driverless Uber cars. Number 9. Motherships DARPA certainly seems like they're just watching sci-fi films sometimes and turn it into a reality. You've probably heard of motherships from sci-fi films, where flying saucers are transported by one ginormous ship called the Mothership. The US Air Force and NASA has considered something similar to this, and in the future, it's possible that there could be things like flying aircraft carriers. Here in this photo, we see an artist's portrayal of a mothership carrying three bomber planes. But this could be a reality someday in the future as technology advances. Even in World War II, some bombers carry what was known as parasite fighters with pilots inside. NASA's Hyper-X project involved planes being held underneath the wings of the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress like you see in this photo. A concept like this could certainly be put to use more often, especially when it comes to drones, since their popularity is increasing. Here in this photo, you see what's known as the DARPA Hydra that looks similar to a blimp. Number 8. Lizard Hands Have you ever seen lizards crawl up the sides of walls and wonder how the heck can these alien-like creatures defy gravity like that? It's not because their feet are sticky or anything like that, it's just the bottom of their hands create traction from the little indentations you see in this photo. They actually use electromagnetic energy, surprisingly enough. The things at the bottom of their feet are called setae, and they create electromagnetic attraction with the surface at a molecular level. Scientists are still researching the feet of the gecko, and they believe that they will be able to design some type of technology which will allow humans to scurry up walls faster than we could have even imagined. 
Number 7. Robotic Animals Here in this video clip, we see the Legged Squad support system, which was introduced by DARPA. This almost seems like it could be the future of pets. Anyways, it's a semi-autonomous robot that has four legs and can function as a scout in the battlefield. It can move good enough to reach about 70 to 80 percent of where all soldiers can reach and is called the Alpha Dog. Marines have complained, however, that the Alpha Dog is just a little bit too loud and it would easily give away their position. There is quite a bit of potential for robots to make it on the battlefield, but stealth is always a primary concern. At this point, they're mostly considering it as an electronic reconnaissance unit, but if DARPA can tweak it just a little bit to make it quieter, who knows what it's capable of. Number 6. The Exoskeletons There are a few creatures on our planet who contain skeletons on the exterior of their body instead of the interior like us. These are known as exoskeletons, and they provide quite a bit of protection to the internal organs of creatures such as ants, crabs, cockroaches, grasshoppers, etc. The exoskeletons DARPA is developing would give people an unbelievable amount of support to their joints, which would allow them to carry extremely high amounts of equipment. This would also allow them to move at full speed and carry an estimated weight of 200 pounds on their back. The legs are supported with bionic steel beams that are custom fit for soldiers and are attached to a small computer to coordinate movement. During some of the interviews at the Special Operation Forces Industry Conference, many military officials were rather reluctant to speak about the new exoskeletons. But it's possible this could work as armor as well. The legs have motorized actuators, which will take stress off the Special Forces agent's legs. SOCOM is currently investing $80 million worth of research just into this suit. Number 5. The Flying Submarine The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as DARPA, is looking for a way to get some of those big bulky submarines that spend most of their time underwater and make them completely airborne. DARPA has a yearly budget of around $3 billion, and they began to propose ideas of stealth aircraft that can fly over the sea, and when it gets close to its target, it can hide out underwater in order to attack its target, which is usually an enemy aircraft or aircraft carrier. This would require some crazy technology, and they also wanted to travel underwater as well. It needs to be lightweight in order for it to easily become airborne. Some experimental aircraft which were tested, such as the Reed Flying Submarine, like we see in this photo during the Cold War, proved to be too heavy to lift off the ground and it would sink underwater. The unit needs to be watertight, with engines both operable in the air and in the water. It'll need both turbines and propellers, and it'll be one of the most advanced hybrid designs that DARPA has come up with. There are quite a few debates on exactly how it will look, but we're sure they'll think of something. Number 4. The Pentagon Cyborg Beetle you might be familiar with the Cyborg Beetle, but this is a project researched by DARPA. Since DARPA is also funded by the CIA and FBI, they might make things like this occasionally. The government most likely suspects that you won't go and investigate this one really close. This is modeled after a rhinoceros beetle and controlled by Radio Command. With a series of six electrodes, this rhino bug comes to life and successful experiments have already been conducted. Until the day comes where there's more cyborg bugs and real ones, small radio-controlled UAVs could be used to find victims in natural disasters or collapsed buildings. Is there anything really worse than being spied on the government with creepy insects? Number 3. Dark Star Stealth Drone Stealth technology was considered to be an amazing breakthrough when it was first being developed in the 1950s and 60s. Now in modern times, we're looking to take the human factor out of the equation and just have them become remote controlled. The Dark Star was designed as a high altitude UAV with stealth capabilities which would make it nearly impossible to detect. The optical sensors, radar, and cameras could send large amounts of information back to the government agencies operating them. The project was formally abandoned in 1999 due to aerodynamic instability, but many still firmly believe it's being put to use in the Middle East and in North Korea. Some claim it was extensively used in Iraq, but there's nothing to fully support these claims. They're most likely still working on this, and it's very possible there's one over your head right now spying on you. They're also probably implementing more advanced cameras, which we'll get to next. Number 2. The 1.8 Gigapixel In order to survey the world from 20,000 feet in the sky, they need superior cameras to zoom in that far, and DARPA's been working on it pretty diligently. Since the rise of the drones is finally here, the 1.8 megapixel can be attached, which will allow for the highest resolution possible. It's not quite powerful enough to reveal facial features from that high, but it certainly can detect movement of people walking on the ground and track them like a hawk. There are four cameras that work simultaneously. 
Some believe that these cameras are capable of tracking 65 moving objects at a time. Basically said, these are security cameras on steroids. Number 1. HARP The acronym HARP stands for High Frequency Active Aurora Research Program. This was a ionic spheric research program funded by the U.S. Air Force, U.S. Navy, University of Alaska, and DARPA and Bay. This all took place in Gakona, Alaska. Bay is basically the British version of DARPA, so you can tell this is a pretty massive project. Each tower can generate 10,000 watts of electricity each, and there's 360 of them. When they're all linked together, they fire one massive electric beam into the ionosphere, which is the uppermost part of our atmosphere. The Garmin claims to be using it for communication with deeply submerged submarines and to locate underground enemy bases. Conspiracy theorists believe that HARP can be used to control the weather and create catastrophic earthquakes, hurricanes, and volcanic eruptions. Although it might seem a little far-fetched, in a 2014 congressional hearing, a U.S. Air Force official did say that HARP was used to control the ionosphere. The site in Alaska is currently closed down, but the technology is used all over the globe on naval ships and on other vessels that could very well be getting more and more advanced each and every day.